So, here we have a second order non-homogeneous ODE. So there's actually going to be a couple different ways to solve this one. Uh, the first way you might think of going is uh, undetermined coefficients. So you're just going to find the homogeneous solution by setting the left-hand side equal to zero, the characteristic equation, finding the roots, etc., and then doing the particular solution for the right-hand side. Uh, just setting up a polynomial with undetermined coefficients, just a, b, c, whatever, and then trying to solve them that way by taking derivatives of that particular solution. So that actually ends up being just a ton of algebra. It's, it's kind of a pain. You would have to do it if you didn't know your initial conditions. However, in this case, we do actually have initial conditions. So then there's, there's a bit of a more elegant way to solve this problem. And that, uh, that more elegant way is called Laplace transforms. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so the first thing we do is take the Laplace transform of each side. So we can look at our Laplace transform table or consult the internet or something and find that uh, Laplace transform looks like s squared y s s minus 1, and those come from the initial conditions, so it'll be, uh, what is it, uh, yeah, it'll be this, this condition, 1 times s uh, minus 1, which is the, the derivative initial condition. And now we're going to minus 2 times the Laplace transform of y prime, and that's going to equal s times y of s minus 1. And that comes from this first initial condition again. And then just the Laplace transform of y, which is just y of s. And then we need to take the Laplace transform of the other side. That's going to end up being 1 over s minus 1 squared plus 4 over s. And I get that from consulting the Laplace transform table yet again. OK, so now what we want to do is isolate the, uh, the y of s term, try and make this a function, an explicit function of y of s. So we'll do that have y of s equals, well, it'll be easier to do out the steps a little bit more. So we'll have y of s times s squared minus 2s plus 1 equals 1 over s minus 1 squared plus 4 over s plus s minus 1. All right, now we just need to divide over this uh, polynomial of s to get y of s equals 1 over s minus 1 to the fourth. Now, this actually comes from just just um, oh, sorry. This this just comes from um, factoring out this term here. It's just going to look like s minus one times s minus one, which is of course s minus one squared. So that's where that denominator comes from. Uh, then we're now plus. 4 over s times s minus 1 squared plus s over s minus 1 squared minus 1 over s minus 1 squared. 
All right. So I'm going to go ahead and solve this in three different parts. Uh, part one being this term here, part two being this term, and then part three being these two terms together. So, and we can we can actually solve out these in separate parts because the inverse Laplace transform of just these combinations will again just be the inverse Laplace transform of this term plus the inverse Laplace transform of this term plus etc. All right, so let's solve out one. All right, so the goal here is to basically just force this term to look like something that we recognize on our Laplace transform table, so then we can just easily swap it out for its inverse Laplace transform. So we're going to do that by uh, multiplying by a fancy form of 1. Uh, that's going to be 6 over 6, so we're going to have 1 sixth times 6 over s minus 1 to the 4th. So now we can notice that this is actually equal to 1 over 6 times 3 factorial over s minus 1 times uh, to the power of 3 plus 1. And now if we consult our table, we can see that that's actually a transform that we recognize. Uh, that's going to be t to the n and e to the at, so let me just write that out here. So using this fact, we can see that um, n is 3 and a is 1. So then if we take the, oh, oops, take the inverse Laplace transform of 1, we're going to get 1 sixth times t cubed times to the t. All right, so now we're just going to keep this as a reference for later. So let's uh, let's write that somewhere. Let's do that up here. All right, now I need to uh, to erase some stuff. Let's solve out part two. Ah, sorry, board hasn't dried completely. All right, whatever. Let's do this thing. So uh, if we look at our Laplace transform table, we don't see anything that looks like s times something else squared like that. So what we need to do is some fancy algebra to force it to look like stuff that we know. So we're actually going to use partial fraction decomposition here, which works pretty well because uh, the denominator is just a product of functions of s. So going to have a over uh, s minus 1 plus b over s minus 1 squared plus c over s. So 
so now we can um, we can multiply each side by this denominator here, s times f minus 1 squared. So doing that, we're going to get 4 equals a times s times s minus 1 plus bs, haha, plus c times s minus 1 squared. Alright, so now we need to pick values of s that will cancel out two of these terms, but leave one of them remaining so we can solve for it. So the first one we'll do is just s equals 1. Now that'll cancel out the a and the c terms, so we're going to have 4 equals bs. actually plugged in the S, so just B. So that actually works out pretty nicely. Solved easily. So now let's uh, let's choose S equals zero. So that's going to cancel out the A and the B term. So we'll have four equals C times uh, negative one squared, which is just one. So C also equals four. Okay, so now there's not really a convenient choice that's just going to cancel out B and C, but not A. So what we're going to do is just pick some value of S, plug in what we have for B and C, and then solve for it that way. So let's choose um, S equals 2. Now this is completely arbitrary can pretty much pick what you want for the most part. There's some constraints you don't want to necessarily cancel out terms, but so, so we'll choose s equals 2. Uh, so that'll be 4 equals a times 2 times 1, which is just 2a plus 2 times plugging in 4 for b, 4, we have plus c times 4 minus 1 squared, which is um, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, um, 2, so just 1, so just, just c. And then, of course, plugging in for c, is, it's 4, so yeah, there we go. And now we can just solve for a. So we're going to have 4 equals 2a plus 12. That equals oh, negative 8 is 2a. So a is going to equal negative negative uh, 4. All right, so now we can take these, these terms that we solved for, plug them back in, and then actually take the inverse Laplace transform of each term separately. And we'll see that it actually works out pretty nicely now that we've split it up with the decomposition. So let me just erase this stuff. So this is going to equal 4 s minus 1 plus 4 over s minus 1 squared plus 4 over s. Okay, so now we're just going to do the same kind of thing that we've done before. Uh, so let's let's take this term first. So uh, let's see. We want to um, we want to look at our table. So this uh, this term is going to end up equal. 
equaling negative 4 times e to the t, because it's just a constant times 1 over s minus another constant. So that identity, well, I don't know if identity is the right word, but that's what I'm going to go with. So the inverse Laplace transform of x minus a equals e to the a t. So that's where we get this from. So now let's do the next term. So this one is going to equal uh, let's see two times. Uh, it's 4 times t to the power of 1 times e to the 1 times t. And that comes from the, uh, the identity uh, n factorial over x minus a to the n plus 1 equals t to the n e to the a t. All right, so we've got two of the terms. So now we just need the last one. Um, hmm, what can I erase here? Uh, I'll erase this bottom stuff. So now it's just uh, the inverse Laplace transform of 4 over s. That's a pretty easy one. It's just going to equal 4. And you can see that pretty clearly from the table. So now we can go ahead and combine our terms. So, um, so Well, actually, you know what, I'm going to write it up here so I can erase this stuff. Okay. Now we just have to solve part three of this, which won't be too bad. So the main thing here is to try and force this first term s over s minus 1 squared to look like something that we recognize on the table because right now it doesn't it doesn't really look like that so all right so from the table we're going to notice the identity, which is the inverse Laplace transform of s minus a over ugh, s minus a squared plus k squared, where k is just some constant, and a is also just some constant, equals uh, e to the at times, uh, what is it, cosine of k. So what we really need to do here is some, um, some fancy, some fancy-ish al algebra. So what we can do is uh, s minus 1 plus 1, since that's just 0, 
over s minus 1 squared minus 1 over s minus 1 squared. And so we, uh, we can rearrange some stuff. We can actually split off this plus 1 part and combine it with this part. Let's go with it. So, sorry, I just was checking my algebra. Um, so it's going to be s minus 1 over s minus 1 squared plus 1 over s minus 1 squared minus 1 over s minus 1 squared. Uh, looks like these will cancel out, so we'll just have this. And so the inverse Laplace transform of s minus 1 over s minus 1 squared. That's going to equal, uh, well, I believe it's just e to the t. And that's because uh, the k, k is 0 and uh, cosine is 0 is one, so works out pretty nicely. Okay, so now we'll just write part three, which is just e to the t, looks like. actually write out our full solution. So the inverse Laplace transform of y of s is, yeah, sorry the board isn't dry. <laughs> Yt equals 1 sixth t cubed e to the t minus 4 e to the t plus 4 t e to the t plus 4 plus e to the t. Okay. So now we can go ahead and factor out an e to the t, so we'll get Sixth t cubed minus four plus four t plus four. Nope. Uh, sorry. Plus one plus four. That equals t one sixth t cubed minus three plus four t plus 4. And that's actually the solution. So if you had gone the, uh, the other route for solving this problem using undetermined coefficients, you would have ran into some pretty, some pretty repetitive algebra. It would have taken a lot more space and a lot more time to do it. So thankfully this worked out nicely. So there you go. That's how you do it.